Hello, scientists. Como están? How are you? That's great. It sounds like a lot of you are off to a good start today. Were any of you able to brainstorm or think of some animals and plants that you've seen outside of your home? Buenísimo. What did you write down or draw? Very cool. I wonder where each of their habitats were. I mean, I know they're in San Francisco, but I wonder where they are exactly, you know, and what they are and why they chose those spots. Hmm, so much to learn. Let's continue. Yesterday, I shared my question, how do habitats help living things meet their needs? And we learned that the word habitat meant, or well, we learned what the word habitat meant. <laughs> and we also observed some different kinds of habitats here in San Francisco. And I forgot to ask you yesterday, but do any of my scientists live near those types of habitats or did you recognize any of them? Wow, so many of you do. That is really cool. That will provide you with many more opportunities to learn. So I was able to do a lot of research yesterday on monarchs. I found a really good book on the Amplify site and you can find that in your Clever page. And that helped me learn a little more about monarchs. Are you ready to hear what I learned? Oh, that's a good idea. We should take notes together. Do you have your science notebook and a pencil? <laughs> okay, well go ahead and grab them and then we'll get started. All right, well, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start by writing the date and the page number. February. That's an R. Here we, 23rd. 2021, and this is page 19. Muy bien, what should our title be? That's a great idea. Habitats is a great title for this. We should write that, and also you should copy the question that we have. Let's get started so I could finally share my research. All right. H. Oh, it's right here, habitats. Habitats. I'm gonna underline it. All right. All right, scientists, let's start our explora exploration. What led this investigation was my curiosity into why butterflies moved so far to live in different habitats. I first found out that there's a special word for animals moving habitats. It's called Migrate. Have any of you heard that word before? Hey, that's great. A lot of you knew that word. Well, many animals migrate to different habitats. Well, monarch butterflies migrate south to Mexico during the winter. Ooh, should we note that down, scientists? All right, let's write down they migrate south. Get your pencil. Oh, we can't write they because we don't know we're writing about butterflies. But wow, what an important thing to note. To understand why they didn't just stay in Mexico the whole time, I had to learn more about their life cycle. And luckily, I knew a lot about this from studying it with my past second grade classes. We learned that butterflies lay eggs under leaves, they hatch, and out come caterpillars, and then they eat a lot and get bigger, and then they eventually grow a chrysalis, and then they stay in here for a while, and then become butterflies. Ha. The special thing about monarchs is that they only lay their eggs on milkweed leaves, and the caterpillars will only eat the milkweed leaves. Why don't we draw the butterfly life cycle instead of writing it down? Awesome. Whew. So we're going to draw eggs under a leaf, a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and a butterfly. Let's go. I should use this black. I'm gonna trace every... Oh, 
Make sure to label your leaf milkweed leaf so that you can remember that. I forgot. All right, milkweed leaf. That way everybody knows. All right, so milkweed is a plant indigenous to North America, especially here in the United States. That means that it's from here and the habitat here is ideal for it. Wait a minute, I just said habitat. Ha! Huh. Well, hmm, I'll have to research why milkweed does really well here, but for now, I'll stay focused on the monarchs. <laughs> I learned that milkweed does, does like to grow in warm places, much like monarchs. Oh, so maybe that's why they're connected to each other. All right, so we already knew that monarchs like warm places from earlier research, so I don't think we need to note that again. But I looked up the temperatures that butterflies survived and thrived in, and I found out that they prefer 60 degrees to high 70s. And I also looked up the average temperatures in Pacific Grove in the spring, all the way to fall, and then Oaxaca in the winter, and all temperatures fell within that range. We should write that down, what do you think? Ah, <laughs> you're right, let's make it a lot shorter. How about they like to live in places that are 60 to 70 degrees, and we can add like Pacific Grove and Oaxaca. All right, let's write that. All right, so now the most interesting thing I learned in my research was the Amplify book. I was reading that scientists in Mexico that had been keeping track of the butterfly population noticed less and less butterflies migrating to Oaxaca. They also noticed a lot of trees that they had lived on before had been cut down. So they planted more, but this didn't change anything. So being scientists, they asked more questions and realized that here in the US, we had gotten rid of a lot of milkweed plants and we would need to grow more milkweed plants in the warmer parts of the United States in order to help out the monarchs. Hmm, maybe we should all learn more about monarchs and other animals to see how we can help out with this. Well, scientists, that's all the research that I had pre prepared, so let's reread our notes. How do habitats help living things meet their needs? And we learned about migrate, which means moving to a new habitat. We have butterflies migrate south, they start as eggs, then become caterpillar, then form a chrysalis, and then become butterflies, and it starts over. And monarchs only lay their eggs on milkweed leaves. And we also noted they like 60 to high 70 degrees, like Pacific Grove and Oaxaca. All right, muy buen trabajo, great job. I learned a lot today about migration, monarchs, and habitats. What is something new that you learned? Great, I'm glad that that stuck with you. You know what I just realized? Monarchs had to change their habitats because their habitats changed. It wasn't meeting their needs anymore. I wonder if any other animals or living things change their habitats when it doesn't meet their needs. Hmm. I'm sure we'll learn soon enough. Well, scientists, enjoy the rest of the episode. Mañana, I want us to explore more plant habitats, or plant habitats a little more. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm very curious about them. So, nos vemos entonces. See you then.